third day of work. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't finish last night because it was too dark. You know, it's time to finish. Hopefully. I'm Roberta. And I'm Luca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house, so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. Cleaning the dust. We, we've been away from the boat for like five days, maybe seven days. And the dust of other boats is just amazing. Look, check it out. That's the problem when you are in a working marina. Working marina is just people are working all around. You need to clean the boat. That's it. So it's time for some cleaning. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yep, now that we clean the deck, it's about time to install the heads or port lights, I'm not sure. This is a port, port light, port hose. Yeah, the side ones that <laughs> open. And then after that, we're going to start installing the hatches itself. Yeah, we are anxious to see the boat with 100% of the hatches installed. But as we have 12 to do it, we, we're going to do it in turns. First, <laughs> we're going to start with this one. And for that, we still need to sand a little bit here, apply the but before that, we need to show them how we install the acrylic on the top of it. Oh, we cannot skip, skip steps, that's true. Yeah, because right now the heads are ready to be installed, but we didn't show you how we installed the acrylics. No. Nope. That's <laughs> a lot of work. So let's start with the acrylic and then we're going to come to the installation of the heads. to wait 15 minutes for this so meanwhile we are putting some tapes on the windows it's hard babe yeah. upside down is tricky sometimes <laughs> <laughs> so we are preparing the portholes for the primer yeah we are preparing to install the <laughs> to paint the primer so we can install with the Sikaflex, because Sikaflex with primer works so much better. So we want to have primer. You got the point, right? It's gonna take a while until we finish this. I'm doing this, and Duca is doing that one. Primer time. Everything we do, we have primer in between. That's just the way it is. But this was expensive, but we are using for a while already and we still have a lot. That's pretty good at least. <laughs> Now is the tricky moment. If we can do these ones, the side ones, we can do the rest. These ones are, are the tricky ones, but we're gonna manage to do it.
filming our third part of Good learning. It's, it's actually a good result. Excited. It's actually easier to install than the part lights. Yeah. Because we can communicate. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. The sensor. We still have one to install and that's it for today because the sun is going out and then it's really hard to install this. So this is the last one. Almost done for today. Yep. Yeah. It's really cool. Check it out. You can see the sunset. The view the view is not the best one yet. There is just a motorboat next to us that we've been sitting here for a long time. <laughs> But in the future, hopefully, we're going to have some water, clear water, yeah? Sunset right on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Dream is for free, still. Yeah, let's keep it going. Yeah. Stop dreaming and keep <laughs> working here. <laughs> Second day of installation of HEPs. Yep, almost done with this job. This simple but long it takes so long to get all the holes right just making sure we have the right screw i mean the right you got the point <laughs> because the paint is really really thick so i need to be really really careful meanwhile organizing the things to glue to glue the rubber Third day of work. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't finish last night because it was too dark. You know, it's time to finish. Hopefully. <laughs> Yesterday it started to get really dark. Really dark. And black Sika flex in a white deck with white hatches during the night. It's not a good idea. And mosquitoes. And mosquitoes, yeah. So not a good now idea. we need to clean the mess. Now it's dry, so I need to clean this. I can use like this for now. So yesterday, this is the result during the night. We are pretty excited with the result actually. Not bad. But at least it's in place. Yeah. So far, we did four, right? We hope we don't have any leaks. Yeah, yeah. hopefully we don't have any leaks because I don't want to do this again anytime soon. Check this out. We have this one, and we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we still have another three to go, not two. The huge one, 
another one of the big ones and another huge one yeah that's the entry door so far excited yeah really I, I think i'm clean now yeah taking these off it's, it's like a, a challenge to install white hatches in a white deck with black super flex why we are not using the white super flex we don't really like the white because it's always always gets dirt and yellow and like a lot of you can like this one a bad job don't show them babe yeah, yeah yeah this is a bad job doesn't look good because we are gonna have a cover on the top of that so we didn't care about it and by but that, here, that by that time we didn't know how to use uh, soap yeah we didn't use enough soap to smooth the Sika flex but these ones are getting good so far so good I mean not perfect it's just impossible to do it perfect because we have no experience with that but at least we don't believe it's gonna leak and that's it You're good. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to go for lunch Hatch of the day. <laughs> yep, the huge one. Actually, this one went easier than we thought. We just forgot to record. Yeah. It went smooth in place. Taking off that, I almost killed myself. Yeah. We were trying this in place. And we were walking, I mean, I was walking with this huge one by myself through that hatch and it was covered with one of those papers and I stepped right in the middle and I just twisted my ankle. In your arm? And yeah, but yeah. it's all good. I almost got seriously hurt, but it's all good. The first bad, bad thing that accident. happened here, Yeah. the first job accident, labor accident. Yeah, the first real one. I hope it's the last one. So we still need to put this one in place and the entry door. And then we are gonna be done with this. Babe, mm. why we are not using polycarbonate? That's a good, good question. I think this one is scratch. It's harder to scratch. I mean, if you scratch, you can still polish and get this scratch out. I it's think that's cheaper. It's five times cheaper than. Yeah, other than the price. I, I don't remember, to be honest. It was <laughs> five months ago that we decided, but I remember that in between all the goods and bads, we, we preferred acrylic. I, acrylic, I just don't remember the reasons. <laughs> I think it was price, and I think it was the possibility of uh, polishing. polishing. You're tired. So, why did we paint the hatches with spray gun instead of powder coating? Because if we wanted to powder coat, we couldn't uh, anodize. And at first we thought we were just gonna anodize, not paint at all, just anodize. And if you anodize, you need to choose in between powder coating or anodizing. And we preferred anodization, we thought we preferred anodization. <laughs> But now that we didn't like the anodization, we paint on the top of it, and then if we paint on the top of it, we would we would lose 100% of the galvanization, I mean the anodization, if we powder coat because they need to give a bath of chemicals. So in this way, we painted, but we didn't lose 100% of the anodization. I mean, and also we filled the little holes that we had. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Any other question? Just leave the comment below. <laughs> the hatches in place but now we need to install these little things and also we need to install these and do yeah. all we the have finishings a, a few finishings to do <laughs> but still it's a really good co co accomplishment now it's about time to clean this little thing that goes on the hatches so we need to take these apart of this and to use kerosene then it's still cleaning some brushes so let's get started
and now the final piece. So what's this for? This is basically for ventilation of the boat. So the air comes inside, through here, and the water just stays here. Not, yeah, it's gonna just leak from here. Hopefully the water won't do this way, but supposedly this is gonna let air in, but not water in, and that's if, a really good thing. If there is a big wave, the, I think the water can go inside yeah. because there is a, a thing that we can block. Yeah, there is, block. if you, you can see this screw here, with this screw we can put a plug? lid, a plug, yeah, a plug. We can put a plug underneath, so if we are in a really, really bad weather, that we have waves crashing all the time on the deck, we just close to make sure no water goes in. But in a regular situation, this is a way of closing the boat, but at the same time, letting the air be exchanged with the outside. It's time for some water. <laughs> finally, we've been waiting to put some water on the deck for a long, long time, and now we finally have hatches, so we can clean the deck. And today is the perfect day because it today I don't know, it's I'm, so hot. Yeah, it's hard to talk. Even it's hard yeah, to the talk. sensation today is 47 degrees Celsius. This the weather sensation. As the real temperature must be like 38 or yeah, around 37, that. 38. So perfect it's really day for some really water. <laughs> yeah. For some cleaning. So we're gonna do some washing and then we're gonna show you the result of the hatches. That's just a snake. <laughs> Let's do it. I cannot work with water today. Because that means I'm just filming today and someone else is working. So, what do you guys think? Pretty good, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> the deck is slowly is getting in shape. We have almost everything we need on the deck already. But there is something, I don't know if you noticed, there's a few things missing that we took off the <laughs> deck. But that's for future episodes. A chip, they are made out of stainless steel. That's, you told that almost everything. No, just a tip. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of stainless steel missing on the deck. And that's for a reason, because we're... It's... We're gonna talk about that in a future episode because we didn't finish yet. But so far, check it out. We have even leads. leads. That's pretty good. So we have all the hatches done, all the leads of lockers done. Uh, what else? We just need to put the door in place. Oh, the entry door. Yeah, we didn't put the entry door in place because we are working on the inside and it's a really, really dirt job, the tank. Don't tell anyone we are working <laughs> on the tank. So we don't want to have the entry door in place so we don't get the entry door dirt. So right now it's off, but it's ready to be installed. Yeah. But that's it for this week. It, it was a long week because it's been hard to work this way. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Took a while for me to go to the doctor because <laughs> I thought it was gonna get better but on its own. But it was just swallow, swallow, swallow. And then I went to the doctor this week but and he said, Thing, it's that it's, it's not, not broken. broken yeah we took an x-ray it's not broken but in order to the swell 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 to in order to heal in order to <laughs> heal he told me to use this for two weeks yeah. and that's gonna be a painful two weeks because it's really hard to walk in, on the deck like how is the skill in noise it's crow Our scroll is... Yeah, she said that I'm a little <laughs> scroll that just keep walking everywhere. <laughs> and now the scroll need to sit down and that's not that easy. Yeah. But for this, this week, that's it because we're just rambling and talking too much as usual. But we are really happy with all the heads in place and yeah. now we can and they, wash the And they deck. look really good. Even the... Little brief. Yeah, the air exchange thing, the ventilation, 
looks really good. I, I, we like it, and we like the color of the acrylics and just I don't know. Yeah, it seems loud. like the boat is getting ready. That's pretty good. <laughs> but now we need to welcome aboard our new patrons for this week. So welcome, welcome on board, Caio, Jared, Tracy, Matthew, Will, Titus, Craig, Stephanie, Mark, Michael, Alexander, Emmanuel, Adoni. And we also want to thank the donations for our PayPal. Thanks a lot, Michael, John, Cora, and Michael. Guys, thanks so so much. We really really appreciate your support. And, and we see you guys, guys next, next week. week. <laughs> see you guys next Monday.